hey you guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be another pick a card reading right so today we are going to do a reading on um your baby wishes what do your child need you to know right so as you guys can see we currently have three options here we got option number one option number two and option number three timestamps will be inside of the description as well as ways to book with me follow me and donate to the channel if you guys are into many readings um, I do post many readings on my Instagram channel, which all that information is inside of the description. Um, if you guys would like to book with me, please only book with me through email. Um, I do not, you know, I do not read the DMs like that. So just book with me if you are looking to book with me. Um, go to Instagram, go to service and look over the services that I provide and shoot me an email and I will get you set up with everything you need to know um, about booking with me, right? So I'm going to be quiet just to give you guys a little moment, just to give you guys time to choose over your option. Again, this is option one, option two, and option three. Timestamps will be inside of the description. All right, so by now you guys should have had enough time to choose. I am going to begin the reading. All right, hi, option number one. So if you chose this option here, um, what do your child want you to know, right? So let's see, what do they have for their mom and their daddy? It's funny that you guys chose blue. This baby wants you to know that, hey, you, my favorite color is blue too. I love blue, blue, blue. I'm going to love blueberries. I'm going to love a lot of blue the baby may be a crib <laughs> no, i'm just playing but yeah this baby is gonna love um a lot of blue you may also love blue as well this is going to be a baby who likes things their way so if you are currently pregnant then this baby want you to start designing their um room like with clouds i'm seeing clouds for some reason this baby want you to this baby wants you to um buy them a lot of blue right they also want you to talk to them more too this baby wants you to connect with them more and also find their father or find their mother um, if you already are with somebody, but you guys are waiting for the perfect time or something like that, this baby is, this baby wants you to go ahead and go for it. Go for whatever it is that you desire. Do not wait. Um, even though it says worth waiting for, trust me, I will know the energy. So I will know how to interpret the cards. And with this worth waiting for, I feel like this child is saying, you have waited and i feel like um you are with the person that you are going to have this child with or for some of you you may need to travel to get to their father um for some of you i'm here not in that order so somebody may want two children one wants just one child but there may be either three of them there may be twins um there may be triplets there may be more than just one child is what this child want you to know um this child wants you to find your your true and lasting love whoever the parent is it doesn't matter if it's a male nor female um, whoever your your spouse is, this child wants you to know that they talk to them um, a lot. And I feel like your patience is about to pay off because you are about to meet the person who you are going to have a child with or you already know them and um, your patience is definitely paying off.
okay so for some of you there is something or someone that you need to walk away from this this person or this situation is causing you a lot of confusion a lot of chaos in your life um this can be someone that is a wolf this can be someone who is giving you a promise but you know that it's fake you know that it's not going to going to happen this is someone that like i said you could have walked away from this person and i feel like this person is just trying to get in the way of what you got going on with the person who is your true love so for some of you you have been with for some of you you have been with this person like this person is the person who your child wants you to travel away from because they're no good for you and this is somebody that brings you a lot of confusion this person brings you a lot of stress and you move away from whoever this is this could actually be a virgo or some earth sign right it can be a virgo um it can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn or something. This It can also be a fire sign I'm getting. This person brought you a lot of stress, right? In fact, it could have been a Taurus, honestly, but let me see. Because, because, because I know, I know, I know, I'm trying to see, there's just this, 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 I'm also seeing the the devil too so they could have actually been um yeah they could have um been the hierophant represents a taurus but i'm getting virgo capricorn or a taurus right um but they could have brought you a lot of stress. You walked away from that situation. This person was also bringing you a lot of chaos in your life. And then once they were done bringing you this chaos and things like that, when you decided to, when you decided to walk away from them, sorry, y'all. When you decided to walk away from them, this is when you started to walk towards, um, your true love some someone who is who is balanced this can also be someone who already has a child or you already have a child somebody can already have a child but this baby here this spirit baby here connects a lot with whoever this person is one person is extremely stressful and the other one is isn't you know that you can live a good life with this person but now it's like, you know, walking towards them, taking that leap of faith towards them could be a problem because you are a little confused. So with this travel being here, I feel like this is your spirit, baby, telling you to travel. And that's why I do not feel worth waiting for. It's like you need to hold off with having children. No, when you meet the right person and it's not this person who you have already had problems with, it's going to be the person who you don't have problems with. And I'm not saying you guys have to have a perfect relationship, but it's not going to be this person who you just recently like walked away from, somebody that you just knew that you had to leave alone. Like that was bringing you a lot of chaos. Um, could have also been spreading like rumors about you, bringing you a lot of chaos, trying to keep you stuck keep you keep you from growing this person didn't want to like see you grow into anything more like they wanted to keep you like you know stuck and immature and negative and toxic and all the other stuff that comes with them
with the lovers here is like and then the three of cups they could have put you in a third party as well um you could have you could have definitely known about the par third party yeah you guys definitely known about the third party for some of you the secret was out the secret came out that this person had another person um or whatever and you just wanted peace like you just want to walk towards peace your child is saying continue to walk towards peace even if you have not met your um person maybe you are leaving a taurus and you are going to meet a virgo a capricorn or a fire sign so a sagittarius aries um a leo or something like that i'm getting strong fire in earth here um there could be some water and air if there's an air sign i believe it's like an um, aquarius but it doesn't really matter about the signs um if there is a water sign here it's going to be a um i keep saying taurus so it got to be a taurus here but i'm hearing um scorpio and a cancer so your child wants you to just keep moving forward keep moving forward towards calmer waters and they want you to know that they have been connecting with your with your partner some of you are male some of you are female and they want you to know that they have been connecting with your person and there is true love on the other side and that you and this person will create a happy family so they were worth waiting for they were worth going through this battle that you went through with the person before them so Take this message how you feel it fits. Keep in mind that these are general readings, but this is what I got for you guys. I'm going to leave the reading here. This is all that I got for you guys. I'm going to move on to the other two options before I get too tired and my throat get too dry, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading until next time. Hey, option number two. So if you guys chose this option, um what do your child want you to know right so what do your baby want you to know um i'm already getting the feeling that your baby wants you to know that everything is going to be all right everything is going to be all right everything is going to be all right so i keep hearing that so maybe this child um you listen to a lot of music or something like that there's there's definitely a lot of music here Your baby could also want you to listen to a lot of music. Your child, yeah, your child may want you to listen to a lot of music or something like that. Um, so with this talk about your feelings being here, you may be going through something that you don't want people to know you may feel embarrassed about it some of you may feel embarrassed about a situation that you are in um this is a baby boy spirit that is coming here um but if you guys are having twins or there's uh twin spirits here um i feel like the baby girl may like really love music or one of them it's going to be like a duo so one may dance and the other one may sing birds can be very significant um for you guys maybe you guys like birds maybe these children talk to you through birds or something like that um i feel like the baby boy could come around a lot more or something like that the baby boy is saying that he possibly comes around when you are playing a certain song when you are playing a certain song he knows that you think about him so whatever this song is for some of you i don't know what song this can be but i'm seeing ladybugs so maybe you know you sing a song that talks about ladybugs or have like ladybugs in it or something like that but this baby boy is just saying hey mom hey dad i come around when you play my favorite song i love the dance i love the dance all night long like this baby boy like can really like when they come like really love to be naked so this may be the baby boy who pulls off his little diaper and stuff like that and kind of run around the house with no with no diaper on and sometimes no shirt on no socks on he just loves to be like like nice and free um i feel like the girl spirit um if these are twins because for some of you they are 
the girl's spirit is just like she loved your moves like both of these children admire what you do even if you're not a dancer even if you're not a rapper not a singer something like that um they love your your shower voice they love to visit you when you are singing and when you are happy when you are feeling upbeat but when you are not this is when you make them feel sad right so you can be with a partner with this um tell a friend how you feel you can be with your partner but you're not really being honest with this person and telling them exactly how you feel you're not telling them that you are feeling down you're not telling this person that you you are feeling hurt right now that you have something that you got going on you're not telling them that for some of you you can want to move and you know maybe you can't afford to move or you want your own space or you want bigger space it's like um, the children are saying, you know, everything is going to be all right. Some of you are going to have twins. Some of you are going to have a boy. Some of you are going to have a boy, then twins, twin boys and twin girls and a girl and a boy or something like that. Um, they want you to know, like your children want you to know that even though it doesn't make sense to you right now, continue to be happy because you are being um moved in the right direction you are being led down the right path and you are not being led down the rabbit hole um you can trust this journey you can trust um you can trust with you what you are receiving right some of you are going to get someone that's going to help you pay for something it's going to be like this is too good to be true, but you guys can trust it. Um, your partner may, may be very strong on prayer. It can be you or your partner or both of you, or this is what your children want you to do. This is what they need you to do. This is something. This is something that they want from you, right? So for some of you, there could be um, something going on with your body. Um, maybe you guys are aging and you are not too happy with the way that you guys are aging. You guys aren't happy with the curves that you have or the curves that you no longer have. Um, and your babies want you to... To know that you are just as beautiful as you were. I'm here months ago. So I don't know if something happened. Um, for some of you, you are sad because you had a miscarriage. You lost a child or something like that. And this could have been that you possibly lost the baby boy. And the twins are coming in there in your energy. Or all three of them is in your energy because you could have lost one of them. For some of you, you could feel angry, angry that your body went through the process of having a child but did not produce it. So you gained the weight, you have the stretch marks, but you have no child as proof that you have given birth. That can also be something that your children um, are saying to you. Your babies want you to know that um, whenever you feel a little tickle here and there, that is them playing with you. There, these kids are also saying, because I can't figure out which one is saying what, but I feel like they're all like charming in. Um, these kids are also saying, don't hide yourself and don't dumb down. Like, do not, um, do not hide yourself. Like you guys can, you know, when people are depressed, they dress depressed, right? They wear a lot of dark clothes. They wear a lot of big clothes. They, they just look like how they feel. They feel like crap. They look like crap, right? Um, so your children are saying, you know, get out of the funk get back beautiful because you are beautiful um dress up don't hide yourself 
these kids want you to be a lot more active so if you used to play sports they want you to get back into playing sports um i don't tennis they can definitely like tennis or something like that um so yeah some of you lost a child and either this child is coming back or there's going to be um another set of children coming back for you so yeah for some of you you were pregnant and i feel like these kids made a choice that maybe the next set is going to come to fulfill their purpose and then we have please keep your stress levels down so you know they want you to take better care of your mental health is what these children want you to do um if you are stressed out about anything take care of your mental health you guys are also stressed out about weight you guys are also stressed out um about the weight that you are gaining they want you to stop turning on like the television Ooh, sorry y'all um they want you to also stop trying to figure out your life right they're saying you can plan all you want but there's a chance that your plans will not go as planned. Be okay with change. Be okay with the unexpected because something very unexpected is about to happen. And that can definitely be pregnancy. They want you to know about something unexpected. Some of you are going to get some unexpected help, unexpected finances, a new home, or something like that. It may be a disaster because I'm also seeing a tower moment. They're like, whatever you are going through, or this could have already happened, but they're like, whatever you are going through, be okay with that because, you know, this is just a part of the plan, right? Be be prepared for some things to change. You know, if you plan something, like you plan your baby shower on, let's say, you know, June the 27th, um be prepared for it to rain or something like that be prepared for some type of plans to fall through but it's okay right you may be really tired because i just got really tired yeah they're about to come meet you um, and they want you to know that you are going to be busy and this can be why I just got really tired. You are going to be busy. So some of you, the doctor may tell you that you're expecting one and you end up expecting three. The doctor may also tell you that you are expecting one and you can be expecting two. The doctor may also tell you that you're not pregnant, but then you end up being pregnant and then you end up finding out you're pregnant and then your whole plans change, but something about your plans is going to change. Um, they want you to talk to your partner more, um, talk to your family, talk to your friends and talk to them about your concerns. Um, they are like right there with you, helping you along your way, along your journey. And they just want you to know that you guys are already super close and you guys are going to be even closer when they get here, right? So that is all I got for you guys for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Until next time. Hey, option number three. So if you guys chose this option here, um, what do your child want you to know? So what do your child want you to know? Um... Your child want you to know that you do not have to worry about trying to be perfect or um, get things prepared for them. I'm going to love you whether it's, you know, snow or fall and broke or poor. I'm going to love you because I know that you love me and I know that you um, are planning for me. I know that you are doing what you have to do to change your life for me i know that you 
you are being the best that you can be and that's all i can really ask you to be um this child is going to be someone that is very understanding this is an old soul this this person this baby um soul is is like older than life you know this this child is going to be very understanding and i feel like you are going to try to hide you know you may be the type of person who tries to hide your pain and you want to be perfect and you think that you have to be perfect and you don't want them to see you hurt or you may not want to want them to see you cry and things like that but this is going to be that child that just looks at you and say mommy daddy it's okay it's okay for you to cry and you're going to sometimes feel like you are the child that um that this baby has had because i feel like they're going to comfort comfort you um in a way that you just feel like you are you're their baby you know and as they grow older you may actually end up being like their baby they may be they may start to take care of you um you know in in like you can really depend on them so exactly what i said and i promise y'all do not turn these over your baby is aware that you you are worried your baby is aware that you are worried because your energy is telling them this your energy is changing your energy um you may not want to go out much you may not want to be around certain people you may want a lot of space even though it says i like um i love space I don't feel like this is resonating with your child. This is not your child energy. I feel like this definitely goes for the mommy. And it could also go for the daddy. But um, I feel like your child is just saying that your energy is telling them that something is wrong. And, and you could feel like um, you got pregnant or you got somebody pregnant at the wrong time. You don't have everything figured out. Um, you can be extremely, you know, worried about finances, what's going to happen next. Um, you don't feel as stable as you want. You This is not your ideal situation. Um, and your child is aware of that. And this is definitely why your child was telling you it's okay, mommy. It's okay, daddy. You do not have to be perfect for me. I'm going to love you just how you are. I'm going to love you even if we don't have anything, even though I know that is not what you want from me. I'm just grateful that I get to be your child in this lifetime. I'm grateful that I get to live inside of you and get to connect with you. I'm a part of you now. This baby is is um, extremely grateful that you have allowed them to come through you. And with this be patient, I have perfect timing understand that you may have not been ready but your child is ready so for some of you you are pregnant now and you kind of wanted to hear a message um kind of more about what your baby wanted you to know about them what your baby wants you to know about the baby fathers and i haven't turned the rest of these around because i actually want to just focus on one for right now but I feel like your baby, the timing is different. Like most of the time, the parents want the child and a child isn't ready to come. In your case, your baby chose to come this way. Your baby chose to come during this time, knowing you didn't really have it all figured out. Your baby chose this. This is your child who chose this. This is why they're understanding and this is going to help them grow this was a part of their book of life they wanted to come like this you didn't want this so the mom the father wanted everything to be set you wanted your finances to be ready you want everything to be prepared you wanted to have everything you needed for them but it, it did not happen that way and it hasn't happened that way and for a lot of you you have got someone pregnant or someone is currently pregnant by you if they don't know they will know soon because this child is not waiting this baby is coming because this baby is saying we're this is this is the right time I I know what I want to do, mommy and daddy. I know that I want to come during this time. And you may be like really stressed out because you're just like, you know, this is not the right time. 
you know, and your, your person, your person may even have, um, agreed that they want this, this kid right now with this child. And this can be why I felt like there's an old spirit here. This baby may be um, a grandparent, a mother, or a father of yours who is coming back. And you see they're in a line. These kids, is this child is coming back. For a lot of you, this is a baby girl and it's only one. But this child is coming back. This, this child is saying, this child is moving fast. Like, I don't know what's going on within the bloodline or what, but they feel like they need to move fast. This is, is almost as this child is saying, like, um, for some reason, they're, they're feeling like uh, it's now or never. So there may be a decision that needs to, to take place between you and your person. Maybe your person... Um, has a decision to make where they can choose to connect with another person and maybe it's you who can choose to connect families with another person somebody can connect with another person and change this the dynamic but this child is saying no this is how i will be born this is when i will be born and you two are who i chosen to to come back you guys with this ask for help being here i feel like this is you ask, asking god asking um, spirit to you know give you more time because a lot of you do not want to have um, a miscarriage in I mean not a miscarriage but an abortion and you know that having a miscarriage is off the table because you guys are aware that your body will carry this child like there's no doubt in your mind that you're you're not going to be able to carry them or her um you can be telling your person, hey, I just need a little space. I don't really want to talk right now. I don't want to deal with anything right now. But you're not really telling them why. You're not telling them that being a parent is scaring you. You're not telling this person that you are afraid that you will fail. You are afraid that you will be a failure. You are afraid that you're not good enough to be a spiritual teacher. You are you are afraid to tell these people, or I mean your person, that you do not feel that you are capable of creating um creating a, a healthy environment for your child you know but this is a part of your spiritual journey this is a part of your growth this is a part of your person's spiritual journey i mean your child this is a part of your child's spiritual journey too um and this is a grandparent. This can be a grandmother, or grandfather that is going to come back through you. Some of you may want to listen to that reading um, that I post called, um, I believe it's Messages from Your Loved One. It's a pick a card. It's a long pick a card. Um, so some of you may want to listen to that because I'm not going to say which option, but one of those options do talk about um, someone who passed on coming back. And this can be why I felt like this this child's soul was really old, like they, they have a old soul. Right. You guys are worried, but you need to know that your partner and your children, they're rooting for you. They're praying for you. Now we have this baby is a baby boy. But I feel like it's a baby girl. So it can be either or. Maybe it was a, a woman. Um, and now they're coming back as a man in this life. Or something like that. The birds have been really talking. This this kid want you to know, and this can be why they feel like they need to hurry up and come, because they want to help stop like um, climate change or something like um, that. I feel like this this child want to help save the earth, um, and you and your person could be very frustrated and fighting and things like that, because someone is ready and someone is not. Um, prepared nor ready right let me just put it right there so you guys can see let 
These kids love playing. Um, so with this, this girl, this is definitely like a grandmother or something like that. Um, this child wants you to know that you are creating a perfect family for them. So even if you feel like you and your partner, you may, it may need it. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It may, <laughs> it may not even be that, um, finances aren't, aren't right. This may be, this may be a situation where this is not your ideal situation. Maybe you and this person aren't in, even in a relationship, but you get pregnant and you're just like, well, dang, what am I going to do? I don't want to just be a baby mama or something like that. Like you may, you did not want your life to be however it is, but this child is saying, nope, this is the person this is the time and I'm here. And then this person could have also used to like to play in your hair. And now you would get to play in theirs. Or they used to like when you know how y'all brush your grandma and grandpa's hair. Um, you know, you get the brush. I remember I used to brush my dad's hair and just brush it back and stuff like that. Like this person could have used to like that. Like, you know, you massage in their hands and their hair. This is something that your child is going to do to you. Um, yeah, this is something that your child is going to do to you. All right, whatever this is, this tried to turn over. So this child wants you to know that they are always guiding you, guiding you in the right dir direction. So you are not, um, making the wrong decision. This, this child has a huge purpose, which is bigger than you is bigger than life itself. And they must come through you to fulfill their purpose. This child want you to eat better and also sing to them. Get out the house, go listen to music, sing, use your voice. They want you to also de detach from um, like electronics. They want you to stop. They actually want you to detach from certain shows, certain movies, because your situation may not look like everybody else's situation. Maybe, maybe you had a one night stand, got pregnant and boom, here they are. Maybe, you know, um, you got pregnant, you and your partner, you know, are fussing and fighting, but you guys will be together. Whatever the situation is, is not ideal for you. So that may be a problem. They definitely want you to get out into the sun a little bit more. Um, when you do see other children, think of them. Yeah, they want you to definitely go outside and think of them. Um, you know, eat your greens and be more healthy. And don't worry about a thing because they're going to be fine. This kid is going to be someone that makes a lot of money they're definitely going to create something that is going to change the world so this may end up being a scientist this may end up being um some type of leader somebody that other people look up to because this person has gifts something also about their bloodline or something like that this person comes from a strong bloodline like you are birth birthed in a prophet or something let's get something else yeah, they really like the color green and then the color pink. So, like I said, this can definitely be um, a baby girl. So, then the, here, here is the confliction again. Here's the confliction once again. You guys, you and your child, your guy, you guys aren't on the same, on the same timing, right? You don't really want it right now. The child is saying, let's go. All right, please don't rush me. 
I'm coming very soon. So this is your child saying, hey, here's a surprise. I'm coming very soon. You're like, no, please give me more time. I need to figure out my career. I need to figure out my housing situation. I need to figure out where we're going to move. I need to figure out who's going to watch you. Baby, just please give me a little bit more time because I need to figure out things for you. And you could be telling God, like, please don't make me do this. Please don't make me choose. And God is just like, listen the baby has chosen you will carry the baby you will be fine and you don't feel supported but you will get support through your partner so that is what your baby want you to know right so i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated for you guys um you will have a baby girl i feel baby girl energy here even though it says i'm a baby boy for some of you this baby could have been a boy in a past life or something like that um it could have been your grandparent i mean your grandpa or something like that um but yeah this is all i got for you guys for right now i hope you guys enjoyed this reading until next time